Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelley Yens. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring me, your ladybug, and his, Lisa Michelle. Starring me. KJ and I, what you going to do about it? You're not going to do nothing until you better leave me alone. Boy, you better go home. Show you something, boy. You better, boy. Y'all, so today, 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 we're doing a little catfish mukbang with some cucumbers, some, do what I do. some uh, noodles with some two-tone spicy. Little rice back here in the back, back, back. So my baby's going to pray over the food and drink, and we're going to get the child going down. Okay? Okay? Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this awesome blessing that you allow us to receive today, God. From your holy hand, God, we ask that you touch this food, God, so that it can nurture our body in such a way, God, it will leave us healthy and up and moving around, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Y'all. pray for the drink. Show did huh? What you gonna do about it? Never do, honey. I'll tell you what you gonna do about it. They say the mind, oh, that's the first thing to go when you get old. That's what they say, y'all. Yeah, we got some catfish. We eating it right off the thing here. Yeah. Don't test my mind, boy. You're going to be in trouble. Child, I want some this here first, y'all. Trouble will come your way. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cucumber, you're hungry. Y'all, this is something. Parmesan cheese in here, some Hellman's vegan mayonnaise, and some light sour cream. Okay. With a little bit of lemon pepper, dill pepper. No, lime, sorry, lime pepper is what it is. Awesome. It's tomorrow, y'all. I'm hungry. I think I could have had it too high. Oh, what you want? So, how y'all doing today? We start eating on. Yeah, I think you did. All right. Yep. It's your elbow. Yeah, here you go. Mm. Y'all, I'm just in love with this scotch bonnet. This is not actually a scotch bonnet. This is some um, Walker's Ward seriously hot Jamaican sauce. I'm in love with it, y'all. Just in love with it. You love it or you in love? I, no, I love it. Oh, okay. You better change it up. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. Mm -hmm. What y'all got going on over there? What y'all been doing? How y'all feeling? Mmm. Mm hmm. You need some. Mm. Yeah, I refried my fish. I fried some fish, and then I bought some fish. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know this bottle. I know y'all know this bottle. Some Sam Yang, two times spicy. Mmm. This is this is. Yeah, I like my stuff extra crunchy. Okay. Crunch, 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 crunch. This is some um some cup noodles. This right here. Y'all know what I drink the juice. This is some hot and spicy chicken flavor. That's what I got. Y'all, he catch up and everything down. I do what I do. I don't do nothing right. Mm. Y'all want some? Want a bite? What? Get a bite. I said get a bite right now. What? Are you sharing? What y'all say? I told you I'm going to get you nothing to Chris. Mm. Mm. 
I'm hungry. So hungry. Come on, hit noodles. I ain't got time to play with you. Get on this fork. I into my mouth. I can ask anything I want. Child. He will calm thee down. I'm gonna get ready. Listen. I ain't the enemy, boo. Better not, man. And you would, you wanna be sitting next to me. Ooh, I thought this time they like, saying you too long. Y'all eat fish? Me rice with y'all fish? Any rice? Big meat, do. Who? Big meat. Big meat. Big knees. The Chinese people. I do too. They are not alone. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Baby, you ain't in a second. You ain't talking about nothing. You ain't talking about nothing either. I'm oh. eating. Go on, make your story time. What do you mean? I'm trying to eat you. I'm trying to get my eating home. Boy, what's the problem? You can talk while you're eating. I do what I do. Let me between choose. I do what I do. Mm -mm. Yeah, I eat it off camera too. Off camera, I be tanning this rice and stuff. Look, baby, you must like that fish, huh? So you got ketchup down on it. Is it cooked all the way? Yeah, I cut it in half. I'm surprised you. Oh, I didn't know the stuff. I'm surprised about you because you like your stuff to be not all the way done. I'm a seafood. All the way done. Yo, What's your problem? He would have a frozen sausage and put it in the in the pot for ten minutes. Somebody's done. It froze like ice. You can hit it, and ten minutes is done. No way. I do, I do. Mhm. Mm what you doing? Do what you do. You know I have my seafood like right that. Stop what? Half cooked. That's not half cooked. That's cooked. Y'all was in grease, high grease on 365. I mean 375. In the deep fryer. Oh yeah, that's good. I know it is. Y'all, yeah, that's all I know. I'm trying to eat. That's all I'm trying to do. Y'all, I've been having me some protein drinks at work. Normally I would eat a, a cup noodle like right this. This hot and spicy chicken flavor. Just one of those, like early in the morning, right about four o'clock, four a.m. And then I come home, I eat something. I'll be hungry by that time, but just eating for like maybe five minutes or three minutes, I'll be full. Yes, I did say about three minutes or maybe five minutes of eating, I'll be full. But I have been eating, uh, drinking protein drinks. The Atkins, the little container of protein drink instead of eating a cup of noodles. And that's been, and now I come home and that's all I have. I have an Atkins, I mean, a protein drink, a red bull for energy. I know I can have y'all, but I do. And maybe a water, uh, and not a red bull, but a small mini Coke for energy. Yeah, by the time I get home, you girl be hungry. So yeah, that's doing good for me. So my baby got some story time to talk about. If I feel like it. Oh boy, Ain't Carl, we're now really disgusted. Come I on, said y'all. if I feel like it, boy, stay, boy. Y'all better go back. Y'all better go back. Y'all got my weed? Um, I had this co-worker at the job. And, um, uh,
he was having a relationship with his with baby him. mama. I put the mic right there, boy. Oh, okay, it's on. I just had to hit that note. I said I had to hit the note. Who's gonna do something about it? Nobody. But anyway, and he kind of came to me for advice because his baby mama left him and I can tell every day he come to work, you know, he, you know, he wasn't all there. He said he texts, she wants his back. Uh, he called, she'll find a reason, a quick reason to get out the corner. So I asked him the most important question of the day. What did you do? What did you do? To the woman. Mm-hmm. You know, he say, man, I really ain't did Well, he's expanded, you know. And he showed me a picture of his girl. She was very nice looking, and uh, you know, by me being very experienced and up in age and been through a lot, been the type of person that 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 can really break down a lot of things because of experience and uh, I told him I said well look here man after he told me everything he put it on my plate and uh, I said well look here man the best thing to do I said when your girl have to come in the club and find you and when she find you even though you're not with another woman but you drunk and you know, ain't no telling how you was talking. That was, that's not no reason to leave a person. Because in order to reach marriage, during a relationship, you have to show a person that no matter how strong the storm get, I'm still going to be here for you. And some things in life we look at Definitely when a person have a drinking problem, uh, a drug problem. Some people don't want to be bothered with that because it's it's a lot attached to that. But only a strong woman and a strong woman that really love you will stand in them shoes and battle for what she feel or he feel is worth it. Even though they having a sickness or they going through something, they having an issue in their life, but it's not like he was running sleeping in another woman's bed. It's not like he was running out there robbing and stealing and all that. You know, the man was working. But I mean, and I guess he wanted some me time, and he went, you know. But she jumped up and left him, and I told him, I said, "Well, look here, man." You know, people ain't gonna always put everything on your plate. Everything they done, you know. But you can read between the lines. Sometimes, when a woman really love you, it'll take her a lot to pack her bags and leave. And definitely, y'all have a child together, you know. So, like I told him then, I said, man, when you really love a woman, man, you have to show that. You have to show her she's your queen. You have to treat her that way, man. You have to make her feel precious and love. And you know, you you have to let her see more, way more good things about you than a little bit of bad things about you. Whatever you've done, you know, and take her out, go places with her. You know, be that good man because that's the definition of a good man. A man that goes out of, outside his household, break his back, sweat in blood, and bring every dime home and keep his household steady and keep his woman happy and keep his children with food on the table. And not one time I always complain and whine about this and whine about that, but be an understanding man and get an understanding with her 
when it comes down to issues and problems. And you don't have to be violent, you don't have to be loud, you don't have to curse, you ain't got to do all that. Just speak your mind and be humble with it and mean what you say. Say what you say and mean what you say. And put your foot down on it. But don't go overboard, you know. But don't make a woman feel like you pimping her or you, 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 you taking advantage of her because you can because you're a man. No, don't do that. But pamper her, love her, and and do time when you you have to sit her down and have an intellectual conversation with her about things. Definitely, if you feel it's an issue or problem about her, or she been lazy around the house, you know, she ain't cooking when you come home, boy, no food, okay. Uh, you know, she talking back and this and that. And woo -woo. You get an understanding. You put your foot down and you let your voice be heard in a respectful way. Because when you're a good man and you and you um, show it, live it, and paint that picture that can't be changed, guess what? If she pack her bag and leave, I told him, I said, she, she'll be back. I said, stop texting. Stop texting her. Don't call her. And if you do call, only only call her and ask her, do my daughter need anything? Whatever she say, say, okay, boom, boom. hang up. Don't bother her. Because sometimes a woman, when she leaves like that, she needs a time to think. If it's meant for you, it'll come back. And doing her process of thinking and all that, if she finds somebody else, then you wasn't the one. You not the one. <clears throat> because she's in the grocery store shopping. And she's not shopping for clothes or groceries. She's shopping for another man. That means she's not happy with you. She, you, she over the limit with you. Now she wants something new. Sometimes we think we want something new until we get that new thing, and that new thing is not like the old thing that we done left. So they come running back. I said, let life teach her. Let life show her. Let life spank that butt. You back up. Don't put your hand on it. She left you, you didn't leave her. Mm. And if you any kind of good man, like you standing before me, telling me you are, okay. Just play your game, play your role because she playing her game <clears throat> and she making you feel some type of way in the mix of her game. So you gotta stop playing her game and invent your own game. But let your game be the game that, 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 that draw her back because she feels she got you on the hook like a fish. Because you keep texting, you keep calling, you keep, and she knows she got you in your feelings, and you, you know, I don't know if you're crying and all that, boy. You ain't gonna tell me that, cause boy, look here, yeah, surprise. But I said, just stop doing that. He did it. The other day, he told me, you know, he slid over there and told me, yeah, man, uh, she back at home. Bro. I said, yeah, I knew she'll come back because the hardest thing to. The hardest thing to find is a good man. Finding a good man is like hitting a lottery. It is so hard to find a good man. So hard. And when you got one, why would you leave him? Would you think it's something else out there, boy? Boy, look here, boy. You up for a trick or treat? Boy, and Halloween ain't the topic. But I'm gonna tell you this. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. When you got something good, work with it. Work with it to the end, you know, and love it. Deal with it through every storm that comes your way. You can't jump up every time something happens and burn off. A, a whiner always end up by themselves. Complainer always end up by themselves. A real woman going to put her foot down and say, that's my man. Man, look, I'm going to help him. 
with his problems and his issues. It ain't bad. It ain't like he's out there, I walked up and called him to the woman or something. You know, no, he didn't have that issue. You know, he had a little drinking problem. And if he loved me, he'll change. But I'm gonna keep drilling on him until he do. I'm not gonna take my foot off my man, you know? You know, because I love him, he's a good man, he needs a little work, and I'm gonna help him out. But even me, I need work because we both young and we both still learning and experiencing things. But giving up on one another is not the answer. And thinking you can find the answer down the street, you ain't gonna find it down the street. Boy, boy you gonna find a whole, a whole lot of other junk that you ain't ready for, that you're not prepared for. That's gonna break you down as the individual and the person. I'm telling you, life is like that now. The <laughs> hardest thing to find is a good man, because it's so, and if you find one, oh, he's spoken for. Trust me, he's spoken for. You know, you know, he probably still have that attachment of want to be a player. You know, seek his raw oats. When he married, you can't do that. You're out of line, you're out of place. You know, love the one you got. Love the one God have blessed you with. Be happy and content with it and deal with every crisis that come your way, you know, because it's nothing like the one you have at home. And it was a song like that. Ain't no woman like the one I got because she makes me so happy. She's the one that makes me feel so good when I'm adapting to everything she give and put on my plate. That's one that I give and take. She, <clears throat> okay, baby, I feel you. But anyway, that's my baby right here, boy. Look here, man. I'm, boy, look, I love this woman, boy. You know, it was times when that's all it was, was just love. And I love the type of woman she was and the woman she presented before me. And she never gave up, you know? And a man, practically, when he's a mama boy or you know, he spent a lot of time with mama like I did and hearing her advice about things and stuff like that. You know, when I test the market, I test for a woman, something like my mom, you know, because my mom never gave up on her boys or girls. You know, uh, even though things didn't go, the marriage between her and my dad didn't last forever, but it lasted long enough. All of us was wrong. So, or almost wrong. So, but anyhow, any, any way and any who, you know, I, I see my mama in her, you know, and, you know, it's amazing to see how strong a woman is, man. And I, now I know why Jesus saw a favor in a woman. You know, because a woman, when she loves something, man, she will bend backwards and forwards. Man. And a real woman that really loves her man is going to stick to every sticking stone that hit her hip, you know, and, and still remain right there with that man because there's something in that man she sees that is good, that is beneficial to her in the future. <clears throat> and that woman have the understanding, the biblical mind, that a man is not perfect, he's gonna make mistakes. And when you have that type of woman who experienced man after man after man and know that, look here, man, I'ma deal with the one I already got. I know when God, he grab a hold to him, he gonna be good, but he, he gonna be all right, boy. He gonna be everything I ever wanted. And in our situation, that would happen. <clears throat> And, you know, it takes a person to go through things and to experience things, to learn that you have to make a change or move around. You have to change. And when you have something good, you can't bring your bad habits in the midst of it. You have to become good just like it. 
And when you know it's a heaven sent, it's an angel from God, you have to treat it that way, love it that way, respect it that way, and understand that can't no other woman take her place and be satisfied in every way with that woman. You know, that's the only way that that's going to ever work. It's going to ever last, you know. That's the only way that yield's going to ever be attached to it, year after year after year after year. And after every year, y'all still together, yield still calculate. And when you meet people who done been together for 30 years, trust me, if you listen, if you hear their story, guess what? It wasn't always peaches and cream. But they still together, they still love one another. And guess what? To our nine bed and our last breath, we lived out our marriage, our vows. Vows say forever. Ever. <clears throat> Right now, that's all I got. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Y'all not gonna do nothing about it. Yes, y'all. Yep, so true. They said, baby, how old was your coworker? I think he's twenty. He's young. in his twenty. Yeah, he's young. young. They have Born time. through the storm. They're you know? young. They yeah. have time. We're in our fifties. Puppy love. Yeah. Puppy love. So. Yeah. They all get it together by time. Oh, yeah. God willing, they make our age. They'll get it together. But it takes them to talk to an older, mature man who's going to give it to them real and raw and uncut. And don't leave no pieces out trying to be slick, you know? And just give him the truth, man. The truth will always overshadow any, any bad intention, you know? And, you know, love is something you don't play with because people don't kill themselves, commit suicide, and kill other people and all that because of love, man. And, Love ain't nothing to play with. And you have some women would tell you, man, don't play with my love, man. I'm telling you, don't play with my love. And they be serious about it, man. A woman is very serious about love, man. And when she find that right man, boy, look here. She be happy. Every time you see her, she looking like this. And how y'all be looking when y'all find somebody? How y'all be looking when y'all find the right person? Y'all well, be serious when y'all find the right person? Well, it's like this. A man is never satisfied until he finds that right person. And, but he done accumulates so many other women to where he can't enjoy that right person. Mm. And, you know, when you done locked it here, locked it there, and locked it there, and it's hard to just end that right there to share your happiness, your realness with her, see, that's that's the trap men always put themselves in. Always having them sidekicks. You don't need no sidekick when you got the side good piece, one. Side piece. Boy, sidekick, side piece. I don't care what it yeah, is. If you find the real one, boy, you better marry her. Make her your wife. But make sure that's what you want. Make sure she's the one. No, 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 no. Make sure you the one. Because a woman already got her stuff together. You that's need right, to get yeah. yours together. That's right. Shoot. My baby had us up together. Yeah, my, yep. my baby there, boy, you better. Hey, you better not. As long as you can have my fish, I'm sorry. No. Y'all, ain't nobody eating this but us again. We're going to probably do another move on. We're just rearrange it, add to it. We're going to do another video, video, video. Oh, yeah. Oh, my girl Mandy be saying. Y'all, so baby, now, was that your topic you had out initially? That was not your topic, shy. I make the topic how I want to make the topic. Just Sorry. stick to the script. I do what I do. I do what I do. All right, y'all. I'm just playing. I, I liked what he came up with. Even though that wasn't what he said initially, but that's all good. That's something that... My hand hit the light, y'all. But it was also... No. Mm -mm. That'll be in part two. Yeah. Part two is on the way, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You watch yourself. So, y'all, this will include another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share this on every social media platform. And subscribe so that you can become an officially showing in. And ding, dong, ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bloop. Be a part of the notification squad so that you can be reminded of every, every time your girl uploads a video. Okay, be quick with it. La, 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 la,
We love y'all. Mm -hmm. Peach be with you. I said, Peach be with you. Why are you back with him? Peach is fit. No, we got a little bit for a year in life. Yeah. You just get it. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Ew, yucky. Ha! <laughs> Boy, do what I do. Do what I do. Mm -hmm. Do what I do. And I'm full, I'm full, I'm full. I need my shoe. I'm gonna need that bag. No.